Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, it's a good day today, it's slightly overcast. I hope there are some good rains coming because having these plants really need some water now. Uh, it has survived this scorching summer. I think they are just waiting for some good rains. What I'm gonna do today is um, show you uh, a sugar apple tree, which is uh, known as a sita pal in India. And uh, I will show you how it looks, the fruit, the, um, the flowers, the tree itself. It's, it's a medium sized temperate region tree. Doesn't quite like the 40 plus uh, degrees Celsius temperature in this part of the world. So it's very difficult for it to be a very productive tree here. But one of them have survived here and uh, so I'll kind of show that. And then I can show you a few uh, banana plants, uh, which I'm sure uh, pretty much all of you would have seen. Okay, so let's uh, go to the Sita Pal, the one I was uh, mentioning in the intro. This is the tree. As you can see, it's not, it's not a huge tree as such. It's much more a medium sized tree. Um, the leaves are smallish, velvety a little bit. Um, and uh, you can see the flowers here. This is how the flowers look. Uh, this is kind of uh, not in bloom yet. Uh, let me show you one which is a bit more opened up. As you can see, this is how this is how it looks. Um, the this is a temperate region tree, uh, typically uh, originated actually in uh, South America, West Indies, etc., in the tropics. This is how the flowers look, and this is a small fruit here. Uh, this is how the fruit looks. It has a very scaly exterior, as you can see. Once you cut open the fruit, the inside of it is uh, very sweet, fleshy, which you can, fleshy material that you can kind of scoop out and eat in and of itself, or you can make shakes out of it. It also has a very glossy, oblong, black colored seed inside, which is quite prominent, which cannot be consumed. Um, unfortunately, I've not been getting too many of these fruits. Uh, as you can see, some of these fruits just become extremely dried out uh, because of the heat. Uh, though there are, let me see if there are any larger fruits, uh, nothing that I can see. Uh, at least nothing very close to where I am, maybe a bit higher up uh, there might be, but uh, nothing in my reach that I could uh, show. Uh, there are a few up there on the top, but it's a bit too far. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, this is uh, the Sita Pal or sugar apple. It's called sugar apple in English, in, uh, especially in South America and uh, uh, parts of West Indies, etc. In India, we call it Sita Pal. Uh, we call it also we also call it uh, custard apple. Uh, technically, this is not custard apple. After this video, I'll show you what a custard apple tree is. Uh, but it's okay. At the end of the day, it's just semantics. I think we call it custard apple, so it is custard apple for us. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, the rampal. You can see there is some difference in the leaves. There are no fruits of this. This becomes much larger tree and uh, it's quite different the leaves are quite different from sita pal this is this is actually the custard apple but in india the sita pal is called custard apple this is uh, reticula uh, i know not reticula tavares the other one the sita pal is uh, scrimosa so that's the key difference the flowers are a bit similar So yeah, the flowers are similar, but uh, the leaves are different and the fruit is quite different. It's not as sweet as sugar apple. Um, you can see a few new buds uh, which are coming. So I hope uh, I can get a fruit soon. Okay, so this is one of my banana plants. Uh, this is as I'm sure all of you have seen it. Uh, the typical characteristic is of course this very long leaf 
um, it's it's really a bounty from mother nature because you pretty much uh, use all parts of this tree um, the leaves we use for packaging we use it for food almost like a plate for some of our feasts there is a flower which comes purple color which can be used which can is edible the banana is of course edible the inner stem of the inner stem of the the stem is edible uh, all of which are extremely fibrous and extremely nutritious uh, unfortunately uh, given our nutritional uh, logic which is a bit weird for me we only eat the banana and we i mean this is one of those local plants which can really become a big component of uh, local food and local food culture uh, unfortunately in our food consciousness we want to ship uh, carrots and uh, potatoes from kilometers away. Probably not the most sustainable thing to do, but yeah. So, so these days people don't eat the flower or the inner stem of this this banana plant. Let me show you if there if there is a small banana plant. As you can see, there is a small banana plant here. It really grows from the root of the mama plant, and uh, actually this might not really fruit well because it's in the shade. It requires a lot of irrigation, it requires uh, uh, good sunlight. There are a few more banana plants. Uh, we have had some very heavy wind thanks to a low pressure in Bay of Bengal and some of this have been uh, roughed up quite a bit because of the heavy wind. This is how the leaf looks. So you can see it's kind of folded leaf as it comes out as a new leaf and then it kind of opens up. To form the much uh, broader leaf uh, it's amazing is really a bounty of nature something which uh, which is one of my favorite plants just because it's so useful every part of it is useful a bit like a, a bit like the coconut tree all right so that is it for the day let me uh, let me wrap up the day hope you had fun stay safe bye bye